Hi, I'm Alice Pryor, Newfoundland artist, and I'm continuing on with our painting. And uh, last time you were here, we did these big fir trees with a fan brush, and I'm going to show you how to use the fan brush again now for water. Now we'll see when it wets, it starts to separate, but you can just dry that off in your hand, or and that will bring it together more. See? So now what we need to do is we had a tape on to protect the bottom of our canvas. So now we take the tape off. Okay. All right. I like to use the, the green painter's tape. It's uh, easier one than this one. All right. See how pretty that is? Now, in order to protect the rest of the canvas, because we're going to put something down here, probably a waterfall or something, I'm not sure yet, but right now, we're going to protect all this down here by putting more tape on again. So every time you want to do a part of a painting in parts, just put on some tape. So here we go. Let's have some tape. Alright, so we'll decide how far down we want our water. So let's say we want our water to be our little pond or whatever you want to call it. Probably right here. I'm just, just make a guess. You don't have to be real particular. You just make a guess because this is your painting so you do whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both sides of my paint. Blue paint is all I'm going to use for now. So we can do highlights and everything later, just like we did with the trees. We did the back, black background, and then we highlighted with green. You can also put more highlights over it later if you like. Maybe we'll do that. Right now we're just going to do a little pond. And all you have to do, now this time, before we had the, the brush vertical, like that, to, to pounce and to punch and tap, tap, tap. This time we're going to have horizontal. So it's horizontal is like this. And we're going to go across our canvas and just pull across. Pull, 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 pull. Don't have to be fussy. You can go back and forth like this just to make our water. And this brush will give you a nice texture that actually gives you more of a feel for water. If you did it with a flat brush, you'd probably just get like all flat strokes. But see how this gives you a few waves. And, and, and if you let some of the canvas come through, you'll get a little bit of white coming through. And that will make it look like just some some little splashes or something. Well, we can add those after. Our main concern now is to get your water in. So you come up under those trees as carefully as you can. Okay, and just go back and forth and back and forth. Load your brush up when it gets dry. Alright. So, like I said, I'm left-handed, so you may want to start on the other side. And I don't want to get in the front of the canvas. I'm trying to, to, to lean back here so I can let you see everything. But there we go. Back and forth and back. And see how that's coming to life already? Isn't that pretty? Let's look at that. Nice. Look. Just get right in there. Nice. So keep working on that. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. There we go. Yeah. I love fan brushes. I love them for certain things, not for everything, but it's nice with water and trees. And here we go. you got to get those little spots here. Don't worry if you go up into your trees, because we can put a little bank there later anyway. Put a little bank or, you know, little bushes or something. There's all kinds of things you can do with a painting. So don't worry too much. But keep going, but the main thing is to get your fan brush and keep it keep it horizontal, okay? And then just go push in, start from the edge, and that will give you a better grip and a better guide. Instead of just starting in the middle, I, I, enjoy, I really like starting on the outside here. And then I'll pop my way inside here. And I'll come in, and I'll fill that in there. And we're going to fill this in. So it's all blue. There we go. I'll show you how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? It just comes to life, you know? It just jumps right out at you. That's why it's so pleasurable to do paintings. It's so much fun. Because sometimes you don't know what's going to happen, you know? And that's the best thing. Don't fret over it. Just do it and see what happens. And if you don't like it, you can always go back over it again. It's no big deal, so make sure you got lots of paint on your palette. There we go. Squirt it out, and 
There we go. See? And so we go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And make sure you load up your brush. You need to load your brush pretty good with these uh, water and trees because it just goes on the canvas so fast. You don't want to be loading up every second, but you want to make sure it is nice and full. See? And just go load it up again, back and forth. Make sure it's horizontal and the chisel side is what you're using. The chisel part of the brush is what you're using to make your water look amazing. Oh yeah. Good job. Give myself a good job. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for this part. I'm sorry, here we go. So I'll see you on the next video.